Yo, it's your boy, Mr. Priest, man. Hey, if this video popped up for you, man, this was not by accident. This video was meant for you to see, man. Start today. Stop waiting on the perfect moment. Stop waiting on everything to fall in line because, bro, you're going to be waiting forever, man. You know, if you want to start that YouTube channel, start today. Today is September 1st, bro. It is a brand new month. If your month of August was shit like mine, and you don't want September to be shit again, you need to start today. You need to change something in your life, bro. You know, it's easy to get these motivational things. Hold up. Spike, come here. It's easy to get these motivational urges and these posts. It's like, damn, you know, everyone gets that 2 a.m. motivation. Like, yeah, let me do some push-ups. Let me get my body right. It's a new month. And then, boom, you don't take action, bro. You need to start taking action, man. And I'm saying this because... Bro, for the longest I've been saying I was gonna do things, but I never really do it. Like, there's a lot of things that I say I do, and then I do do them, but it's so much more things that I say I wanna do that I don't get done, man. And I and I feel like a capper, bro. Like OT7, OT, OT7, Kwani say, like, you a capper type shit like that, man. That's just my ADHD talking, but yeah, he's like, you a capper. Like, I don't wanna be a capper. I don't wanna say I'm gonna do some shit and not do it because Bro, that's the worst trait you can have as a man. You want to know why? Because a man is supposed to stick to his word. A man is supposed to do what he says and says what he means. Do what he says and what he says he's supposed to do. Some shit like that, man. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, bro, it is a brand new month. Do you want to be living in the same position that you're currently living in for the rest of your life, bro? Because... Like, I was thinking like, yeah, man, right now I'm not happy where I'm at. I'm not happy with my job. But what am I doing to change it? Because I'm going to be saying that same old shit five, ten years down the line. And now I'm just in a deeper hole and I'm older, man. So it's like try and get out of this shit as soon as possible. I don't want to be wishing on a dream that I'm not chasing, if you get what I mean, bro. And you got to put in that work. You got to put in that action, bro. Like... With this content that I was doing, man, like, I started some. I started it. I took the action to start it. A lot of people say I'm going to start a YouTube, start doing it, and then stop doing it. Me, I took action, and y'all can see where it got me, man. Y'all, you could compare all you want and say, oh, you could be way farther. Man, I'm at 10,000 subscribers, bro. That was a big-ass milestone for me because, bro, 10,000 people follow me. And hear what I gotta say And that shit really like sits deep with me Cause like bro Y'all take time out of y'all day to listen to me bro Like that shit make me feel good You get what I'm saying man But that's because I took that action I took action right now to pick up this camera Come out here in the woods and film a video bro Like it, I had to do this man Um Because Bro I Don't know how people Slave for other people for the rest of their life Or just like not live a fulfilling life, man. Like, I was just talking, well, not talking to one person, talking to like so many people yesterday. I just started to analyze people and like, I hate when people do small talk. And that's how I know I'm growing as a person. But when people do small talk, that shit irritates my soul. Like, if we not talking about how to get money, how to better our life or positive things, you're just draining my energy, bro. And when you're on this level of success, you cannot be around people who are draining your energy. I was talking to one lady yesterday. I was delivering to her for my job. She just starts complaining about her boss and, you know, um, how she don't like working here, da 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 da. And I'm just like looking at her, shaking my head, mm-hmm. Like I'm trying to go. She's sitting there going on and on, 10 minutes, 15 minutes while I'm trying to leave to get to the next delivery, just talking about her problems. Boom, okay, that happens. Then I go and talk to somebody I talk to on a regular basis and they just start complaining about, they're a little bit older of a person and they just keep complaining like, oh, I'm gonna die soon and I hope this is and just everything that comes out of their mouth is utterly like depressing. And like, I'm looking at them like, bro, I don't wanna be this old having a depressing life and just complaining all the time, bro, like a Karen. I can't do that, bro. When I get that old, I wanna be able to go with my grandchildren children, and talk to them and be like, yeah, you know, your grandfather went through a lot in his life, but we're not even going to focus on that. I went on a lot of trips, traveled the world, met your mother, you know, boom. 
stuff like that, bro. Like, I can't just be sitting back complaining to younger people about stuff, man. Now, I can learn from them. I'm glad they tell me things that I can learn from them because, you know, um, experience is the best is the best teacher. But I'd rather learn from other people's experience and other people's mistakes. You feel me? Because mistakes is also another one that you can learn from through experience. Oh shit, almost fell, man. But it's better to learn from other people's mistakes than your own, like Warren Buffett said. Um, you know, so that goes to show, like, bro, do you you have to ask yourself, are you comfortable where you're at right now? Hold on, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna stop walking. Are you watching this right now? Are you comfortable where you're at in life right now? And there's different types about there's different there's different meanings of comfortability. I'm not even gonna say comfortability because you should never want to get comfortable because that's gonna keep you where you're at. But are you happy where you're at in right? Are you happy in where you are at in life right now? You gotta sit and think with yourself. Hey, do I wake up every day ready to get the day done and I'm happy and I go to sleep? Hey, this was an amazing day. Or do you wake up feel like you're doing the same old thing every day, bro, and it's just depressing? Life should not be depressing, bro. We are not made to live a depressing life. We're made to live a life of fulfillment. But especially in America and the way that society is, it, it's hard not to be depressed. But it's actually easy to not be depressed as well. And that goes into taking action on doing what you gotta do, changing your environment, bro. You get what I'm saying, bro? Change, you, you, an environment change is so crucial to somebody's success, so crucial to everything in life, man. Like even me coming out here recording this video. Bro, I'm having so much more mind flow, so much more things coming to me and I feel like this is a better video. When I first walk, started walking in the woods, I started hearing people that were distractions to me. So I had to walk away, change my environment. Um, it's a lot of bugs out here, but you know, forget the bugs, man. I'm in nature right now. I'm vibing by myself. I'm talking with y'all, man. It's an uncut video. You hear nature out here. You hear the birds calling and stuff like that. Um, let me put y'all put y'all down real quick. If y'all wondering what this little encampment was, me and my sister actually built this back in 2016. You can see I got meats right there carved into the tree, um, and it says. 11 12 16 i believe that's the day that trump got elected and bro 2016 that was eight years ago bro i did not think i'll be where i'm at right here today making a video right here and all the shit that we went through in these past eight years man but um let me set you up so i can finish talking with y'all about the main story about taking action man like bro Y'all know recently, all of last month, I was complaining about my job and stuff like that. And this is a brand new month. I don't really want to put any negative things out there like that of me just complaining about some, bro. I need to take action and get out of that job. And I'm having a plan. I'm having a plan to get out. But sometimes your plan doesn't always work. And you have to have the plan B, plan C. And sometimes you have to go with the flow. And that's the most scariest thing. Also taking risks, man. Like, you know, when I say in this video, to take action taking action and taking that risk is the scariest thing bro but you want to know what the riskiest thing of the riskiest thing in all of life is is not taking that risk and getting comfortable where you're at because bro you taking the risk right now of doing the same old thing that's not bringing you any joy once you get older bro you just took that risk of not taking a risk bro to better your life when you get older or something happens in your life where you can't do the things you once could do right now today, you just took that risk and boom, you failed at it. I'd rather fail at, okay, I'd rather fail at taking a big risk right now than to fail at life of just being miserable, bro. And, and, and I say that in a way where I don't, I don't even wanna think that I'm gonna fail because that's a limiting belief. I wanna go into this thinking, okay, I'm not gonna fail. You feel me? I'm, this is going to work. It's a big risk, but it's going to work. But just if I fail, just if I fail, boom, get back up on my feet. At least I can say I tried. On the other hand, if I never take that risk and never try, I just failed at that in life, bro. So I'd rather fail at one risk 
in life than fail at life in general, bro. Because right now I feel like I'm I'm doing good in life in other aspects, but my main my main thing in life with this like job and not comfortable, I mean not happy where I'm at right now, bro. Hell no, nah. I, I can't do that, dog. So there's some risks that I'm not gonna speak on right now that I am about to take and invest in. But um, it's real scary for me, I'll be honest, bro. I'm a human too, I know it's scary to take that risk, but bro, if you wanna start a YouTube channel, pick up that camera, take that risk. Don't be afraid of people watching you, laughing at you and stuff like that, man. There's probably hella people that are watching this video right now that know me in person probably talking shit about me or whatever but y'all watching the video right now it don't matter to me bro because nine times out of ten you probably want to do youtube you probably just afraid of what the next man gonna think bro but i'm past that point in my life you feel me because that was a limiting belief for the longest time there's other limiting beliefs i need to work on right now but you know i got that out of the way bro and i took action picked up this camera filmed the video and changed my life bro so you know, I'm telling all y'all this because, bro, do you really want to be in the same predicament that you're in right now for the rest of your life? Because life keeps going on. Time don't stop for nobody. You can't tell the time. You can't tell the clock to say, hold up, wait, let me get my life in order at 22 and then we'll resume at 22. No, you could say, hey, let me get my life in order. Time going to keep going. And you're going to be 28, 29, still telling time to wait up for you. Let me get my life in order. No, that's not how it works, bro. You know, I was thinking that the other day when I was making a delivery. I'm like, bro, I've been saying I'm going to get out of this job like for a while, but I keep going back and doing the same thing because that's comfortability, that's stability. It's, it's okay to have stability in life, but, you know, just relying off a job being like, damn, you know, this is the only thing that's going to keep me paying my bills right now and going to keep me alive. Nah, bro. Another thing, money was made up, bro. Money was made up to keep you in this low mindset, bro. 500 years ago, people could do whatever they want. You could steal from the next person, you could trade from the next person, or you can go get it by yourself. Now we got rules set in place where we have to go out and slave for money in order to get things legitimately. You get what I'm saying, bro? You know, if I sold everything right now and just moved to um, Thailand with all the money I had, bro, I probably live a, I'm, I know I would live a way better life, bro. This is that taking that big risk, man taking that action there's something that somebody is watching this video right now and you've been thinking damn i need to take this risk i want to do this i know there's a possibility of this working i'm just so scared i'm telling you right now let me take the glasses off of this man take that risk bro take it because you never know it will change your life forever so bro i'm saying this because i also want to look back at this video and be like damn me i took that risk that i was talking about in this video and now i can see hey look I'm glad I took that risk. I'm glad I changed the things in my life, bro. You feel me? I'm glad I took action and not just spoke about it. Cause you could tell the next person, hey, look, yeah, I want to invest into crypto. I want to um, do a YouTube channel. I want to travel here, but it never makes it out the group chat because people aren't serious. And another thing y'all need to do is stop hanging around small-minded people that have small-minded conversations. I want to hang around big time people big mindset people people that had million dollar conversations bro you feel me and it's hard you feel me but i feel myself going through that pyramid period right now where i have to fall back a little bit it's non-personal it's non-personal anybody watching this is non-personal but it is personal it's personal that i need to get this in my life in order to grow bro you feel me and when i say it like that it's non-personal it's non-personal towards you but we're just going to two different paths in life. If you're not helping me grow, I gotta let you go. People grow together or grow apart. You feel me? And a lot of y'all know that. Y'all probably lost a lot of people, a lot of friends that you thought you were gonna be friends with forever. But bro, you outgrow people. So yeah, man, stop hanging around them small-minded people. Stop doing low vibrational activities, man. Take action, bro. Get up and pick that camera up today. Today is September 1st. Why are you still fucking waiting on trying to change your life? Why are you still waiting on picking up that camera? Why are you still waiting on starting that business? Why are you still waiting on moving to a whole nother state, bro? Why are you still waiting? Because you're comfortable. God can take your life away tomorrow. He could change your life in an instant, bro. What are you going to do? 
Change starts with you, change starts now. Start now, today, after you click off this video, man. Like I said, this video was meant for you to see. Change your life, feel me? You don't wanna be stuck in, 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 in a life of unfulfillment your whole life, bro. Trust me. Hearing all these old people talk about their problems and you know, how they worked so long for a company and it didn't do shit for them or you know, they have all these back problems. No, I don't wanna do that. Fuck no. And that's a perfect, I'm glad I have this mindset because I'm not comfortable, bro. I don't get comfortable, feel me? I had to tell my friends last night, look, out of the blue, they hit me up, said, you wanna go out and get something? No, I can't do that, bro. I can't go out and hang and drink some beers. I can't do that. Okay, yeah, have fun every once in a while, but it is the start of a new month, bro. I did that all summer. I had an amazing summer, but now it's time to actually lock in. That way by next year, I can do that whenever I want, but still making money, bro. So it's time to lock the fuck in, y'all, for real. Um, you know, I was consistent all last month. I'm glad I, I, I stuck to my word, bro. I posted every day in the month of August, and that was a big accomplishment for me, man. I posted shorts, I posted YouTube videos, and I posted stream live streams, man. So I gotta give myself a round of applause for that, man, because. Consistency was a hard thing for me, but I just challenged myself and I did it. So yeah, man, with that being said, man, more videos coming soon. Today's the start of a new month. Get your life together. Take action. Start today. That being said, man, it's your boy Meets the Preach. Spike, say goodbye to them. Say goodbye. <laughs> say, oh. <laughs> yeah, man, but it's your boy Meets the Preach. I love y'all and I catch you on the next video, man. Gang.